We need to accept him into our heart. And he abides in our heart by faith. But also, we need to maintain this connection with Christ by faith and continually surrender our will to him. Amen? And so long as we do this, he says, he will work in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. The good works which he spoke about, these are the things that's going to flow through us. Amen? Amen? Again, it's not anything that we will do. It is him that is working in us. So we got nothing to boast about. Number one, we didn't become righteous on our own. Number two, these good works that have been done, we're not doing them. And this is the three angels' message. Believe it or not, this is the three angels' message. And people say, no, well, you know, we've pastors, I heard pastors say, the three angels' message, we've done that already. We need to move on. Move on? From... This is the main point. This is the reason why we exist as a church. And we need to come to the understanding of this message of righteousness by faith. Not only in an intellectual capacity, but we need to have an experiential knowledge. Amen? Who wants that experience in this righteousness by faith? Amen? All right, I'm going to close here. Um, I hope that you, we can finish this in a couple of weeks. It really goes into the three angels' message in, in verity, what it means to have that experience with Christ. Um, before we close, just have a word of prayer. Just ask for God to, to seal us with this understanding. Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for your Holy Spirit. It's because of your Holy Spirit that we're able to receive the word that comes to us. But Lord, I pray that our hearts may not be stony grounds. I pray, Lord, that the world may not come and choke out the precious truth that we receive today. Help us, Lord, to hide these in the deep parts of our heart, to meditate on these things, and that your Holy Spirit will water and nourish these seeds that they may grow into beautiful plants and produce fruit for your eternal kingdom. Seal us, Lord, with this understanding. Lock us into this precious union with yourself that we may experience transformation from inside out. Not modification, not behavior modification, but true transformation. So, uh, you know, transform us, Lord, because of your love. And uh, renew us, revive us, restore us into your image, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us close by singing our final hymn, hymn 318.
shall be.